I'm Janine Sternberg. Um, I'm the clinical course director of the IPCAPA training, which is a training for child and adolescent psychotherapists. And I, in terms of our journey to get here, I had rather bizarrely, now I think back on it, um, sort of having qualified with an English degree, what can you do with an English degree, wanted to do something helpful. I'd gone into student counselling and found myself really feeling at sea, really feeling I didn't know how to help the 16 plus people that I was seeing. And I thought, and I realise now mistakenly, I thought that the problem was that I wasn't seeing them young enough. I thought, oh dear, these are already <coughs> sort of young people. I need to go backwards in time and get them when they're only three and four, and then I'll be able to do something useful. Actually, that was rubbish. The fact is that I didn't have a good theoretical framework, and if I'd had a good theoretical framework, I might have been able <coughs> to be more helpful. But serendipitously, it's led me into something that I've loved for all of my working life. So to pick up the things that have been said, as a child psychotherapist, one's using the psychoanalytic concepts that Stan talked about, the concepts that, that Helen's also referred to, ideas about defences, ideas about transference and counter-transference. What is happening between you and the person that you're in the room with? What is happening with the unconscious mind? But the big difference is, of course, technique. So that in adult, psychoanalytically informed work, we expect the patient to come in and to begin to talk to us. And from the way that they talk to us, or not talk, Helen has raised an <laughs> eyebrow, from the way that they stay resolutely silent or find it impossible to say what they want to say, um, we have thoughts about what it is that they might be wanting to communicate. Children don't behave like that. Children are going to come in, if they come in at all, and they're going to need to play. They're going to need to express all the unconscious processes that we've talked about through the medium of play. So the child psychotherapists very much observe a child's play, may join in with the child's play, and may have it in mind that they're going to think about and make occasional comments, not too many, I hope, about what the child is doing with the play. So, according to the age of the child, play material is available, the child plays with the animals, and, oh, this is really interesting, there's a mummy cow and a collection of baby calves, and they're by the riverbank, and along creeps the tiger. And the mummy cow is so busy painting her toenails that she doesn't notice that the tiger is coming along. Now, the child has shown you something very graphically through that bit of play. You've got a choice as a therapist. What are you going to do with what you feel you've been told and how much you're going to talk about the baby cow or how much you're going to talk about young Peter who's just shown you that mm. and it may be that you're going to stay talking about the cow and you're not going to hammer it down to say you Peter feel that your mum doesn't look after you properly but there's going to be some sort of dialogue about how frightening and how worrying it might be to be in a situation where you feel that you're not properly held in somebody's mind. I think that example shows one of the real difficulties about child work which is of course that my notional Peter is possibly still living with his mum and the fact that she comes and goes because of her drug habits and there are times when she doesn't think about him properly, that, that's a real external difficulty. Child psychotherapists tend to work in institutions. There is private practice for child psychotherapy but the majority of child psychotherapists are trained to work in the health service or in social care systems of one sort or another and in fact with that in mind the training is structured differently and usually is paid for by the health service um, that it, it operates as a far more thing of a, a placement and an expe expectation that you will learn your skill in your placement and then you will continue to work within the health service to give back to the health service that has put a considerable amount of time and effort and money into training you. So there is some 
private practice, but there's a lot of out there. And of course, that means that very often these are very damaged and very disturbed children. I mean, never mind the walking well of Hampstead coming into the private consulting room. Um, they're certainly not getting the opportunity to access a CAM service, um, which is how child therapy tends to be offered through the health service. So there's using the same theoretical ideas, but operating technically differently. And in terms of using the same ideas too, the child training here is the only place in the country where you can train within what we call our Jungian stream. So it's effectively the same training, but with some bits where your bilingual qualities get, get the opportunity to come out. But you can become a Jungian child therapist rather than a psychoanalytic child therapist, which, which is an unusual experience and one that we're very proud of. And, and feel good that it belongs within the framework of this institution. Stan mentioned research. The training is a doctoral level training and it has quite a heavy duty research component because again, thinking of people being practitioners in the NHS, it's quite an important thing to be research literate and to be able to hold your own in talking about the usefulness of research. And we're partnered with the Anna Freud Centre and UCL to make that happen. So we've talked about technique, we've talked about setting, we've talked about training, and then there's fitness. Because actually with, with child patients you need to be able to squat down on the floor, you need to be able to run along the corridor to try to bring them back from their attempts not to be there. Um, it tends to be a training, by and large it tends to be a training with a younger demographic than the adult trainings that are offered here. And when you get a bit old for that, then you can become the people who teach the people who are doing it, and you don't have to run about so much. <laughs>